Peace. This is a Meat and Potatoes Sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is understanding fifth dimensional consciousness. Basically, there are many dimensions, but this is a time where a lot of people are going to have a fifth dimensional shift in their consciousness. So basically, this will set the stage for unyielding love, unconditional love, as well as coming into contact with various spirits because you're trying to fulfill your purpose. And that's very important when working with the fifth dimensional consciousness. What it really is all about is you're starting to really understand the journey. And the best way to understand it with the fifth dimensional shift is put one foot in front of the other. Don't get too hung up on how long the journey is going to take or being destination starved. Don't worry about that. And a lot of children that are here coming now, they're going to start exhibiting and showing off their psychic or spiritual gifts at an early age. They'll, they'll be able to really amuse you, some of these children. So the parents and grandparents will see this. So that's basically it. And it's very important now to don't get lazy. Because at least 25% are going to have this shift in their consciousness. And the shift will set the stage of understanding and having accessibility to different dimensions. I had this conversation with Thoth and Hermes. They said that I have shifted personally to the seventh dimension. And they said, you're doing this now because the seventh dimension deals with ascended masters taking more of the reins and helping you, which is what Hermes and Thoth have also did, as well as my contact with extraterrestrials. So the fifth dimension really deals with that. And one of the things that I am vigorously opposed to is certain practitioners in the so-called evolved community keeping people on a fourth dimensional level. And that's like materialism, carnality, etc. That's keeping you there. And you have some people who are doing this by selling so-called emotional fentanyl. You ain't going to metaphysically finesse me. And let me tell you how some of these people do it. They'll do it with, oh, well, they come with the $10,000 words and, you know, they'll use Pythagorean numerology. Oh, well, you're compatible with such and such because, see, um, you're a one and they're a six. And six deals with Venus and all that. Stop, stop all that. Some people can be a one or a six, but they may not be the one or the six for you. Same thing like. Just because somebody's a cancer doesn't mean that they're going to mesh well with a Virgo. Yes, it's a science, both of them, but even science can get it wrong sometimes. So we better be careful with that. So like I said, you ain't going to metaphysically finesse me at all. And the other thing that they do is that, and I want to salute the practitioners in the Evolve community, as well as tarot readers that keep their integrity by telling people that they read for or channel for the actual truths, you have my utmost respect and appreciation because I can only imagine what you're up against. I think I know this very well from some of my experiences. Like you'll give a reading to somebody. Oh, well, then there's this exercise and denial. Oh, well, such and such would, would never do that. Well, yes, he would. He was just at the Waffle House with the work wife. And the lastly, the thing that I find uh, repulsive is when people operate on the fourth dimensional level with this. Oh, see, the reason that I'm reckless and irresponsible with money is because I was a nobleman back in the 1600s. And my karmic lesson is to abstain and don't be greedy. Let me tell you something. That's that's a lie because the demiurge and the archons, they mind wipe before you even get here. And even an intermediary knows that, a student of the occult. Or these women, well, the reason that I don't really like sex as much as I used to, 
I was part of a priestess and we, you know, coven and a witch and I was burnt alive and we, we were abstaining from sex. What does that have to do with here and now in the modern paradigm? Absolutely nothing. When you're dealing with fifth dimensional consciousness, what it all comes down to is these things. Unconditional love, the power of forgiveness, and lessons that can be transferable so the next lesson isn't brutal. And you leave with a clean slate with very little regrets. That's fifth dimensional consciousness in a nutshell. And a lot of people are coming into it. And I am very enthusiastic and I'm happy for you. So that's the fifth dimensional consciousness. And it's basically shifting and growing. And a lot of people will be taken out of your lives. And it's not that you wish them bad or vice versa. It's just that they no longer serve your spiritual appetite. You will find your so-called soul tribe or hear me now and believe me later. They will find you. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the water alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.